Hi guys, I'm back again with some more stories for you today. Let's go to the first one, about OP, who was holding a grudge over his son, who went to live with his granddad because he wanted a better education. Listen to the story to find out all the details, and of course to hear my insights. Enjoy the stories, guys, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, don't forget to leave a comment. I, 50 male, am not a career ambitious guy, I can say. My father, 77 male, is a whole different story. He is a retired brain surgeon, excelled in academia, and also a single parent. He always wanted me to study on top professions, doctor, lawyer, engineer, etc. But I hated the work. I chimed in and started to read engineering, but in a topic I like, automotives. After I graduated, I did not stay in the academia or got work in a prestigious company. I opened my own car repair service in a different town than my hometown. My dad never liked this, but I was 22 years old, had my own money, and he could not interfere with it. I never got married, but I had a partner. We broke up, but she was pregnant. She wanted to do nothing with the child, so I got him. With confirmation, of course. And I have named him Jacob, 26 male. My son is definitely like his grandpa. He's smart, hardworking, and really ambitious. He was on the excel of his school marks, and my dad loved him so much that he would come to my town at his vacations. In my country, you enter an exam for determining which high school you will go. My son was the regional champion, and he was offered offers and scholarships from high schools and colleges nationwide. Most of them were ridiculous, and as a parent, I did not feel comfortable sending him away. Also, some of them were at my dad's city, and I also did not want to send him there because he would be really strict. I wanted him to live his high school times freely, so I declined all of it on his behalf, explained to him my reasons, and registered him to the best school in our region. Well, my son got behind my back, called his grandpa, and called on child services with the allegation that I am withholding my child's education. The social worker and my lawyer suggested me to let the custody because I would lose all rights eventually, and the case could be pulled to neglect really easily. My dad is really smart and powerful. So my dad got the custody and I waived my legal rights. Well, he went to my dad's house and I was lucky if I could see him once in two months and talk to him on the phone once a week. He would be always busy studying or doing some volunteer work or would be at vacations with my dad I wasn't invited. I wasn't invited to his high school graduation and after he got to the medical school, he said he was ashamed of me for being lazy and not ambitious. He turned into my father's junior version. After that, we cut all contact with a spiteful fight and my dad saying, you are not part of the bloodline anymore. Eight years later, my door is knocked and there's my son. I could not comprehend for a minute and after I asked what happened, and he said my father was terminally ill and he wanted to see me to apologize and he also wanted to apologize to me. I said, you are a little too late for that and shut the door. He left a minute later. I still feel really bad about it. Am I the a-hole? OP did his best to screw up his kid's life and got mad when someone else stepped in. Now, despite that, he has decided to extend an olive branch and rebuild their relationship. And OP is so bullheaded in his terrible choices that he won't even give him a chance. If anything, OP should have been the one on his knees begging him for forgiveness for trying to ruin his life. And now let's see if the community agrees with me. Riley Gray says, Everyone sucks here. You made your decision based on your own preferences towards schooling, not what he wanted or even needed. And then he tried to get out of it by working with your father to report you for aggression. There's a lot of deserved anger and hurt on both sides. The only question is, do you want anything moving forward? Is your anger such that you'd rather keep that rather than your son? He's willing to make amends. Are you? Otterly Fabulous says, you're the a-hole. Did you notice that you're treating your son the exact same way you hated your father treating you? Disappointed he's not what you wanted him to be, controlling his prospects. Anadroid says, You're the a-hole. You tried to destroy your son's prospects and can't see how badly you could have hurt him. He was 100% right to go to his grandfather so that you didn't duck up his ambitious plans. He had every right to cut you out, and the fact you're not begging him on your knees to be let back into his life shows that you haven't changed and feel no remorse for what you did. I'm glad he had your father to support him. My husband has an 11-year-old daughter, Liz, who comes to our house to visit her dad every month. I don't like children and want none in the future, but my husband and his daughter have every right to bond, 
so I tend to stay out of their way. I think Liz thought her father left her mother because of me, but that isn't true. They've been divorced since 2016, and we only got together a year later. Liz hates me so much that she said that right in my face several times. My response was, yeah, I don't like you too, so we stay out of each other's way, okay? She doesn't seem to understand the meaning of that and is constantly trying to make my life hard. Every visit, she would cause damage to the house, from cuts on the couch, smudges on the wall, broken home appliances, and more. She's a smart little devil who always looks in when nobody's looking. So every time confronted, she would demand if anybody has proof that she did it and accused me of framing her. My husband would pretend all of these did not happen and avoid conflict, the cheek. I set up a spy camera in the house a while ago, and before long, it recorded a video of Liz forcefully bending my tablet on her knee before putting it back. With the video as evidence, my husband finally acted and cut the repair fees from Liz's allowance and sent the video to her mother. Liz's mother did not take it well and accused me of invading her daughter's privacy. Liz also blamed me for damaging her relationship with her father. Am I the a-hole here? To add, Liz lives with her mother and grandparents. She visits one to two times a month, but doesn't stay overnight. We are not living together. Yes, stepdaughter is wrong for damaging OP's things, but OP needs to grow up and understand that even if she's the biggest brat in the world, it's not normal to tell OP's stepdaughter that OP doesn't like her either. Yeah, she's a child who is acting out, but OP needs to look at why. And it's because of OP and how she treats her. Like it or not, OP married a man with a child, therefore OP is a parental figure. If OP didn't want kids, she shouldn't have married a man with a child. And now let's hear the community's opinion. Lottie Fitz says, You're the a-hole. You should never have let your relationship with your stepdaughter get to that point. Openly telling a child you don't like them, what the duck? Even if you don't like children, you just killed any chance of ever getting along with this child. The child will eventually grow up. Do you still not want a relationship with your partner's child when they're a young adult and beyond? Sure, you exposed her for damaging your possessions, but you shouldn't have damaged your relationship to even get to that point. If you hate kids so much, maybe you shouldn't have gotten together with a person who had a kid. Gerb says, You're the a-hole, you're the a-hole, you're the a-hole. Don't marry someone who has a child if you don't want to be a parent. She's only doing these things because it's awful to be around you, and she feels unloved in her own home. What the actual duck is wrong with you for making a child feel this unwanted and unloved? You're the problem, not an 11-year-old child. Leave your husband before he ends up hating you because his relationship with his daughter is ruined forever. Turing Tested says, Everyone sucks here. Stepdaughter sucks for vandalizing your things, which she certainly knows not to do. You suck for responding to her saying she hates you by saying, I don't like you either. True or not, you're the adult and you need to be more mature than the 11-year-old. Your husband sucks for not attempting to repair the relationship between you and his daughter and for not believing you about Liz damaging things. Assuming you don't have video in Liz's bedroom or bathroom, her mother sucks for being focused on how she was caught versus what she did. I broke up with my ex after I found out I was pregnant because of how he behaved when I told him. I was living with him at the time, so I moved in with my brother and his family until I could find my own place. My pregnancy has been extremely rough and my ex wouldn't leave me alone, so my sister-in-law insisted I stay with them for the duration of my pregnancy so that they could make sure I was okay. My brother has a 15-year-old daughter called Amelia. We're very close since I used to babysit her all of the time when she was younger. My sister-in-law found out that Amelia has been sending my ex information about me since I moved in with him. When I asked Amelia why she would do something like that, she started crying and said she did it because she overheard me telling her parents that I miss my ex and that when he first asked her for help, he said the same thing to her and that he was just worried about me and the baby. So she thought she was helping us. My brother was pissed and yelled at her for what she did and made her show us her phone to see what she had sent to him. From the messages, we found out that she was giving him information, pictures and videos of me in exchange for money. My brother ended up making her give me all of the money she made from spying on me and grounded her. A few days later, it was just me and her at home. She came up to me and begged me to give her the money back because she was saving to take these expensive art classes that her parents couldn't afford. She kept saying she was sorry and that she didn't do any of this to hurt me. I ended up telling her I wouldn't give her the money back, which made her cry again. I did confront my ex about it, but he was not apologetic at all and told me I should have let her keep the money since she was just a kid and this was all of his doing, not hers. 
He also said he wouldn't have had to resort to this if I had just spoken to him myself like an adult. Am I the a-hole? OP should put the money towards a lawyer, which she clearly needs, and tell Nice that she has done so. That might make her see the seriousness of the situation and still punish her by not letting her have the money, but also make her not resent OP for just keeping the money. Well done for OP's brother and sister-in-law. They appear to be doing their best. OP didn't make her ex do anything. His crap choices were all his own doing. Avoiding rotten people is the adult thing to do. Spying is what toxic people do. And now let's hear the community's opinion. Stuck in CPD says, not the a-hole, and don't give the money back. It was your brother that made her give you the money, and therefore was the punishment. Giving her the money back would be going against the brother's punishment. Administration This 77 says, not the a-hole. She was taking money to provide information to your ex. I don't care what someone's intentions are. That is a dangerous game to play. This could have had a very real and negative outcome, and the niece should not be rewarded for her actions, regardless of what her intent was. Sarah Quail Rising says, Giving her the money back wouldn't teach her why what she did was wrong. Your ex took advantage of a naive kid to spy on you enticing her with cash. You are not the a-hole, and your ex is. My brother was married to Jane for 15 years. Jane and I became very close, that we look forward to weekly Saturday night get-togethers at our parents. We, Jane, my husband, our kids, and our parents, would often play board games while my brother never joins in and is always in a corner on his phone. I was never close to my brother, so I was glad when he married someone I clicked with. My brother cheated on Jane twice. She forgave him. But last year, he cheated again and this time had the audacity to leave her and the kids. We were furious at him, but it has gotten less now. Jane moved into a new place and is even seeing someone. We're happy for her, but I miss her terribly and miss our Saturday night dinners and board games. To me, she never stopped being family. My brother's girlfriend, I neither dislike nor like her. She isn't like Jane, she's too serious, like one of those stereotypical feminist type who gets offended about everything and whines too much about our rights as women. Example, I was pumping milk for my infant on a Saturday night at my parents. When I came down, she commented, you're not a bloody cow. Women shouldn't have to go through pumping milk so men can sit around and do nothing. What? Was what went through my head when she said that. Anyway, my birthday is coming up and I decided to invite Jane. I was going to invite my brother, but Jane said she wouldn't really come if they are there. So I picked her instead. My brother found out and got pissy. I explained that he never even showed up to most of my birthdays in the past. So why would this year be different? Grimald Bird says, not the a-hole. It's your birthday, and you can invite who you want. Although I would just give your brother a heads up. If you would rather Jane be at your birthday rather than your brother and his girlfriend, that is entirely your prerogative. As for the girlfriend's comment on your pumping food for your baby, I would have just said, when she made that comment. Audio Aligned Feline says, Jane was your sister-in-law for 15 years, and it sounds like she's more of a sibling to you than your brother has been. Also, she's the mother of your nibblings. Of course you want to have a relationship with her. It sounds like you have a wonderful sister, and you shouldn't let your brother take that away from you. Not the a-hole. Miss Beezy says, Not the a-hole. Jane sounds like a great lady and fun to hang out with. Your brother sounds like work. You can hang out with your brother anytime, so it's okay to have board games with Jane, who clearly enjoys them and gels with you better. We have a kid together, which is the only reason I'm asking for judgment. Me, 31 male, and my ex, 29 female, broke up six months ago after being together for nine years. To make a long story short, she cheated, and I hate her guts. The fact she cheated also lost her pretty much all her friends, as they were mostly mutual friends who chose my side, for lack of a better way to phrase it. After I ended it with her, swallowed my pride, and got along with her for the sake of our daughter. But let me be clear. That's also the only reason, and any and all talking I do with her is always about our daughter. I also need to clarify that she has no family to turn to, and the guy she cheated with was a one-night stand, so nothing there either. Which is undoubtedly why she came to me when she came to drop off our daughter, 50-50 custody. She also arrived with a couple of suitcases in tow. When I asked her if she was moving, she immediately started telling me what had happened. She got fired last week, her lease had ran out, and would not be renewed. Apparently, the owner's son was going to live there, and she only has savings to last her a few weeks if she gets a cheap hotel, 
and with the economy right now, she can forget about getting a job in her field anytime soon. And the rent prices are high as hell here, and that's on the off chance you can even find a place to begin with. After an awkward pause where she was probably expecting me to invite her to stay with me, which I obviously didn't, she asked me if she could stay with me. Now, I got the room, three bedroom apartment, so I got a spare room. I make plenty to feed another mouth. Issue is, I hate her. Like, legitimately despise her. Like I said, the only reason I tolerate her in my life is our daughter. If she wasn't in the picture, I would have laughed in her face and slammed the door right away. I said no, obviously, to which she started saying she figured we were friends now and she has nowhere to go. I told her that we are not friends and that the only reason I speak to her at all is our daughter. She should not mistake me being civil for friendship. She started crying and pretty much begging. I lost my crap told her the fact that she had the guts to ask to live with me after everything she did is literally testament to the piece of crap she is, and told her she'd better get a job and a place, since I'm not leaving our daughter with her in a crappy hotel room, and closed the door. Now, here's the thing. At the end of the day, she is the mother of my daughter, so I feel responsible and sort of guilty despite the fact I hate her. So, I wanted the judgment of strangers on the internet. Well, here I am. MM172 says, Not the a-hole. I don't actually blame her for asking if she was truly desperate, but expecting you to say yes to the point of bringing along suitcases? She should have known better. Privacy Ashard says, Not the a-hole. She made her bed. It is rough that the daughter has to realize her mom is not stable, but it's the truth, and the toxic environment that would result in someone you hate living under your roof would be unhealthy for her. Dutch Apina says, Not the a-hole. Cheaters get what comes to them. I suggest you go through the courts and fight for full custody of your daughter. Keep her safe. Your ex can get her crap together while you keep the baby in a stable situation. Or not. Either way, it's not your responsibility to take care of your ex just because she's the mother of your child. Your responsibility is to your daughter, and they are not a package deal. What the duck? By the way, I'm a mother who co-parented for 18 years. It's not easy, but it's not impossible either. Put those healthy boundaries up ASAP and build stability for your daughter.